Hi, this is Charles Figley again. I wanted to give you some um, comments, provide some comments about the uh, the videos that we've uh, and the audio tape that we ask you to listen to, as well as the readings. So these are uh, these videos demonstrate uh, the wide varieties of experiences that um, people go through when they are uh, traumatized, and the <clears throat> the consequences of that are immeasurable, and we've talked about this already in the earlier uh, video, or I've talked about it. But the thing that I'm especially uh, interested in, in your noticing is when <clears throat> when you learn about the variety of, of trauma uh, consequences. Um, the videotapes, for example, talked about um, affecting how the way we look at things, how a traumatic experience colors things. I have uh, spoken many times about uh, when we are shocked, when we are traumatized, we tend to experience, um, we, we tend to pose numbers of questions because we're not sure what's happening. And uh, the first question is, what happened? Uh, why did this happen? Why did it happen to me in particular? Why did I act the way I did at the time? And why have I acted the way I have since that time? And what if it happens again? Will I be able to survive? So the whole idea in terms of consequences of trauma is really associated with how profoundly life changes as a result of uh, this adversity. Uh, that the assumptions that you make about life and what is fair and, and, uh, and humane and could never happen to you um, happens. <laughs> and uh, we go through this, this questioning process. So what's important then is for you yourself uh, if you have experienced a shocking, uh, it may not even be a traumatic event, but a setback, a, um, a crisis of some sort, then it's important for you to think about how you behaved, how you thought that through. In other words, what was the consequence in terms of your life? Uh, and then try to see it from the point of view of those people that we're uh, looking at. For example, uh, children who've witnessed um, family violence. Uh, with their parents fighting, um, that have experienced abuse, uh, whether it's uh, physical, sexual abuse, uh, or uh, other kinds of, of um, lack of effective parenting or love and caring. Um, all those things uh, play out. So in the videos, we're hoping to provide a wide variety of, of, uh, of examples and have practitioners from different points of view and different professions uh, discuss this phenomenon. Now the two readings I think uh, are especially important in this context. One of the readings is by uh, Tedeschi and Calhoun and their work has been really important uh, in the trauma area because they focus on post-traumatic growth rather than post-traumatic disorder. They're suggesting that it's the other side of the coin. That for a lot of people not only do they not have lingering negative consequences of trauma, that it actually has made a positive change in their life. It potentially changed their direct, uh, their trajectory in life, uh, enabled them to feel that um, maybe they should prioritize a little differently. Especially uh, it's the case uh, with a near-death experience, very common. So Tadeshi and Calhoun identify the concept, explain uh, the manifestation, the consequences of, of uh, trauma in terms of the positive aspects, in terms of the growth um, that people have, that have experienced growth again, are changed their perspective of life, changed their priorities of life, uh, value things uh, maybe differently than in before, which more often than not is a very positive thing. The other uh, uh, readings uh, is the uh, one that I co-authored with my colleagues Joe Boscarino and and Dick Allen. Uh, they, the three of us, uh, work together. We have worked together in numbers of years, particularly after 9/11, in studying the immediate and long-term psychosocial, emotional, interpersonal consequences of traumatic events like a terrorist attack and the and the the the, uh, the wake of that. The, the worry, the fear, um, anthrax, all that 
various other kinds of things that have happened around uh, that 9-11 terrorist attack. But what we were looking at in addition to studying um, uh, traumatized people was to look at those people who help traumatize people. Um, and apart from their own experiences uh, in 9-11, what is the consequence of uh, working with, listening to, over and over again, uh, day after day, people who, have, um, who seek their help in um, relieving their negative consequences of trauma? And we found uh, that definitely they were affected by this. And, and that they're, among other things, uh, we found that burnout is an issue, but it's very different than compassion fatigue. Burnout is that you're just sick of the job, you want to move away, and don't want to deal with it anymore. In contrast, compassion fatigue, you almost feel compelled <laughs> to work in that environment, to not run away. But it comes at a cost uh, that you need to care about yourself and devote as much attention to your own emotional uh, needs as, as you do to anyone else, including family members. And if we uh, avoid that, that's a problem. Uh, remember when you are on an airline and they say, in the, the unlikely event of a sudden loss of, of cabin pressure, the, uh, the uh, oxygen mass will come down and they urge you to not put the oxygen mass on the passenger that may need it, Put it on yourself first so that you can breathe, so that you can be oriented and effective in helping other people. That's when you help other people. So it's the same thing. Uh, when we're looking at the consequences of trauma, we need to look at ourselves uh, as we study, as we help other people. It certainly will be the case uh, with regard to the, um, the, the trauma quest because we're going to be wrapped up in their lives. So I want you to Therefore, go through this knowledge block. I want you to focus, uh, when you focus on the, the videos and the uh, readings, uh, keep in mind the characters in the uh, Trauma Quest game, and also keep in mind your own lived experiences as you go through this. All right? Talk to you soon.